Hey what's up everyone in this video I want to show you how to use your map, your compass, and your GPS. So to access your map the default key is M. At the top right here you have a toggle textures button. If you press this it will change the color of your map. Press it again it will change it back. To the left of it you have a move to player position button. When you press it it brings you to the general area of where you are. Now this is just a general area it's not specific it won't give you your coordinates or anything like that so you won't know exactly where you are where you're at using this button. At the top here at the top here you have your uh, longitude coordinates which are these numbers up here and on the left side you have your latitude coordinates. Now in this game when you're uh, reading coordinates like your GPS or say you're playing with a buddy right and he's in your group and sometimes your buddy's character will call off enemy position coordinates. When they do it'll give you the top number first and then it'll give you the left numbers so Let's say there's someone at this point right here. First, the, the coordinates would be 0, 0, 2, 0, 9, 0, and that's exactly what it'd look like, one solid number. To move the map around, you're just going to hold right click, and then you can drag the map like this. To zoom in and out, you're just going to use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. To set down markers, you're going to use left click, just double click wherever you want to set one at, and it'll bring up this box right here, and you can type whatever you want in the description. The show info button will tell you how to change your marker icon, how to change the color or delete it. Whenever you're ready to put down the marker, you're just going to hit enter or press OK. Now let's go ahead and make a marker and actually change the icon and color. So we're going to double click, left click, type in whatever we wanted to say. And to change the icon, you're going to either press the up arrow key or the down arrow key. And it'll cycle through just like this right here. To change the color, you're going to hold shift, left shift, and then you're going to press the upper down arrow keys. And whenever you're ready, just hit OK. It's down like that. To delete these, you're just going to hover over the icon like this and press delete on your keyboard. Now, something very important. Uh, if you look down here to the left, you'll see you have vehicle channel, direct communication side channel, and group channel. If you make a marker while you're in side channel, which is the global channel, Everyone that's on at that moment will be able to see the marker you place down. So whenever they open their map, they'll be able to see that marker. So that's a good thing if you're trying to set a booby trap and you want people to come to your, your position or whatever. But if you're trying to mark your base, you're not going to want no one to know where that's at. So what you're going to do is you're going to change to group channel. And when you do that and set the marker down, only you'll be able to see it and anyone in your group will be able to see it. So just make sure you know what channel you're in when you're placing down markers. To set a waypoint or a destination marker, you're going to hold left shift and left click at the same time and it drops down this little circle right here which you can drag around with left click and also to delete it you would just hover over it and press delete. So let's go ahead and actually mark a destination, zoom out here, the northwest airfield. So left shift, left click and we're going to go to here to the game. If you look at the left side of my screen, you'll see 6.2 km, which is 6.2 kilometers. That's that's my waypoint. That's my direction marker. So I could just follow that marker all the way to the northwest airfield until I get there. It's kind of hard to see on the grass right there, but 6.2 kilometers right there to the left side of my head. To access your GPS, you're going to hold or press Control and M at the same time. So Control M. At the top left of the GPS box, you have your your uh, current coordinates. So this is exactly where I'm at right now, 001093. And remember, uh, the top numbers are first, and then the left the left numbers are second. So uh, in the middle, this number that's changing constantly, or whenever you're moving, is your bearing. Your bearings. If you don't know what your bearings are or what they're used for, say you're running with a buddy, right, and y'all are running through the woods or something, and you're like. Oh, dude, I see a helicopter at bearing 141. And your buddy could be like, all right, let me pop up in my compass or whatever. And then he could just go all the way to 141 and be like, oh, I see it too. So it's good for uh, calling out positions as well. Uh, at the top right of the box, you have a time. Uh, pretty useless. I never use it. Uh, so if you look in the, the red circle inside the GPS box, as I'm turning... There's a little line in there that rotates with me. That's the direction I'm looking in. So if I'm looking this way, the top of the circle is north. 
the right side of the circle is east, the bottom is south, and so on. So you can also use this, uh, the GPS as a compass as well. And I'll go ahead and prove to you that the top of it's north. So I'm looking at the top circle right now, and my compass says north. I'm looking at the right side of the circle, compass says east. Right, and uh, bring down your GPS, just press Control and M again, right Control and M. Uh, to bring up your compass, you're just going to hold K, and when you do, compass pops up, and if you notice, there's also numbers inside the compass, which are your bearing numbers. So, 0 is north, 90 is east, south is 180, and so on. To toggle your compass to keep it up on the screen, just double tap K, and you won't have to hold it anymore, and you can just run around like this right here it'll stay up to, uh, to get it to go back down just double tap K again and it goes away uh, I hope that was helpful if you have any questions comments or tips please leave them in the comments below please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video